Angelo Cowam delivered the crucial baskets to lift Atenio over De La Salle, 81-75, in overtime in the Phil Oil preseason cup Tuesday night at Phil Oil Flying V Center in San Juan. Cowam scored the last three field goals, including an strong inside bucket that sealed the game, 79-75, with 39. One seconds left. The Blue Eagles finished the elimination round with a 9-0 record in Group A, while the Green Archers dropped to 7-2. It was a preseason game with a hoop-like atmosphere, with both teams trading big shots and making crucial plays. But Ateneo coach Tab Baldwin saw it differently. We expect a lot more from our teams going forward. I, though, it was a fairly sloppy game. Perhaps, when green goes against blue, it's going to be tough to find a well-played game of basketball, Baldwin told reporters. But I thought particularly Santi Santillan was outstanding. I don't really have a lot to say about the game, I thought it wasn't a great game of basketball. It might have been entertaining. I thought LaSalle probably played with a bit more grit, a bit more toughness than we did. I would prefer to probably compliment them, LaSalle, for the effort that they put in today than to make any positive comments about my team," he added. Atenio looked on its way to a victory after 30 Ravina made a step-back triple with the shot clock winding down that put the Eagles on top, 70-66, with 23. Five seconds left. Ravina's clutch play, however, only paved way for a comeback by the Green Archers, who pulled within one after a three pointer by Algen Malicio. Atenio big man Isaac Go made only one of two from the free throw line to make it a two point game before LaSalle guard Joe Logo got free for the layup off an inbound play with zero. Three tenths of a second left to force OT. Cowan posted 16 points, 18 rebounds, and six blocks, while Ravina finished with 17 points. Santi Santillan led the Archers, who shot just 34% from the field, with 19 points and nine rebounds.